she's having a baby. What's often used to celebrate could mean delays for the trial against former Guam police officer Paul J. Santos. As we've been reporting, Santos is accused of raping a woman and using his power as a police officer to threaten to put her behind bars for prostitution. Santos, who is currently on house arrest, appeared in court Tuesday with defense attorney Randy Cunliffe. Together, they received the news. According to Assistant Attorney General Matthew Heibel, the victim lives off-island. That's not the dilemma, however. Although the victim was anticipated to travel back to Guam for the November trial, the government motioned for a continuance because the victim is pregnant. Defense objected to the motion and a continued hearing was set for Friday, November 13. We should note the alleged rape occurred back in September 2014. Therefore, Santos is not the baby's father. KOM files show the victim told FBI she was forced to place ads for her services on the Internet after she lost her job as a dancer. One man who responded to her ad identified himself as Frank Smith. When they met, she realized he was a cop from the insignia on his sleeve. Assuming she was busted for prostitution, she broke out in tears and alleges the man threatened to put her in jail. She then accused Santos of raping her. A review of the hotel surveillance tapes shows Santos at the scene in his uniform driving a police cruiser. Although he denied the allegations, he later claimed he was, quote, working on a prostitution sting, end quote. He also admitted to having sex with a woman but did not pay for it. According to Santos' supervisor, Santos was not involved in any investigations at the hotel because it was outside his patrol area. Judge Vern Perez will hear arguments from both parties on Friday. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.